Okay, so we're going to look now at a slightly more challenging problem. Um, this time we're not revolving simply a curve, um, we're going to revolve a region. So the way this looks here, okay, let's sketch this out. So we have, we have two curves. Okay, the first y equals 2x minus 1. Looks something like this. Here's y equals 2x minus 1. The other one, x squared minus 2x plus 2. Um, might help to note that this is, what is this? This is x minus 1 squared plus 1. Okay, so when x is equal to, so here's 1, let's say. All right, so when x is equal to 1, um, y is equal to 1, okay? Also here, if x is equal to 1, uh, y is equal to 1. So we do have that point of intersection there. Okay. And this is now a parabola that's opening upwards. So we get something that looks like this. Okay. And if we extend this a little bit further, then we can see that there is a region here. Okay, like so. Uh, let me get rid of that label. We don't really have space for it. Okay. And that other point of intersection, um, I think that's going to be at x equals 2. Of course, as usual, if, we, if you're not sure, right, equate the two and solve. Let's, let's go through it, right? Um, where is the intersection? x squared minus 2x plus 2 equal to 2x minus 1 gives me x squared minus 4x plus 3 equal to 0. Ah, so I would have been wrong, see? Um, that's x minus 3 times x minus 1, right? So x is 1 or 3, which tells me my, my drawing is maybe not super accurate, but hey, we can live with it. Okay, so this is the point 1, 1. Over here, x is equal to 3. And if x is equal to 3, then y is equal to 5. Okay, check that that works here as well. Let's see. 9 minus 6 plus 2. Yeah, works out. Okay, so what, what happens when we revolve this region? What's going on exactly? Well, what happens now is that you sort of have one curve that's going around, and you're going you're gonna to introduce a second curve, right? So there's going to be a second curve in there. And you're going to revolve that one around, right? And when that one goes around, what happens is you just are kind of cutting a piece out from the middle, right? So now what you're going to get is sort of the, the region that is bounded outside by that curve in red and then inside by that curve in white. So you're cutting a piece, you're sort of drilling a piece out from the middle. Um, and so what this ends up being is essentially the outer curve, right? Or so the upper curve is going to determine the sort of outer radius. And then the lower curve determines an inner radius. And you get, now what you get is essentially... You know, so if we had just the red curve, it would revolve around, right? And, and we get a disk, like so, right? But this inner curve is also going to revolve around and cut a hole out of the middle, right? So what we end up getting, if you were kind of looking at it face on, is you get a washer, right? Or an annulus, if you want to. Um, and the x-axis is kind of here coming out or into the board, right? So that inner radius, well, that's just your lower function. In our case, the inner radius is x squared minus 2x plus 2, okay? The outer radius... here, okay, is going to be the 2x minus 1, 
escaped. All right, so far so good. So it's a little bit harder to, to draw the overall region now. I mean, you can, you can try, you can play around. I think I've, I've run out of colors here, but you can, you can, if you want, try to imagine what this thing looks like. But in terms of the setup, the main thing is to get the setup right and realize, okay, what's the outer radius, what's the inner radius, and realize that, well, the, the area now for my cross section, what is the area? Well, the area is the area of the big disk minus the area of the small disk, right? So my area as a function of x is going to be the area of the outer disk. So we can think of that as being a function of x, we square it, minus the area of the inner disk, so inner radius squared. So we get something that looks like that. And then it's still going to be true that the volume is still going to be area as a function of x integrate with respect to x, right? 